before we go about actually building behavior trees from scratch, which we're going to do very soon, I just want to go over some of the basic concepts. So instead of just having you follow along, I'm going to make sure that you know what's going on while we're doing it. Because that's the way I like to learn. So I hope to teach you that way. So what we're going to do, let's go ahead and make a new game object. Now again, I, I'm saying we, but um, you don't have to follow along here. I, I'm making this object. so just made this ghost guy and so in this video I want to show you I want to kind of mimic the functionality show you the similarities between playmaker and behavior designer kind of explain behavior designer in playmaker language so we have our playmaker window you know to make FSM's you can right click to add them and behavior designer is very similar we can just right click and say add behavior tree now you don't see anything here like you do in Playmaker but you just made one so just go over to this behavior tab and this is where you can name your behavior tree just like you name an FSM in Playmaker so let's just call this ghost tree like that okay and now to see anything you have to add a task so I'm gonna right click and go to add task and I'm going to add a sequence task which is the simplest task there is it just has things happen in a sequence and for this to not give me an error I'm gonna add another one which I'm just gonna add a wait task which you know what that does this um, acts exactly the same as it does in Playmaker so what we have here this layout here this window view it's the same exact thing as Playmaker is this is where you put this is the visual scripting view this is what you, where you put your nodes together and make stuff happen so it's the same thing and I showed you a little bit before but the way you make things work in behavior designer is the same way you do it in playmaker so playmaker has its actions which we know well here and so behavior designer has its tasks so think of this as the same thing it pretty much has the same functionality so you have your window here which you know from playmaker you have your things like actions your tasks which you add to this window and link things together to make stuff happen just like you do in Playmaker so you also may be wondering you okay but what about our variables well here you go here's your variables just like in Playmaker and to make a new one you just type in the name of it choose the type and add and now you have a game object variable there let's make a bool am I dead Dead's dead okay now we have a bull and so these are local variables just like they are in playmaker so with these variables only this behavior tree because remember you can add multiple trees will be able to access them and there is also global variables and they act just the same as the ones in playmaker so things you've learned in playmaker can come over here and help you in that way in order to see what's going on you have your inspector so the way you can get to that is by double clicking any of your tasks and that will bring up the inspector which allows you to this would be like your state you're looking at your actions in your state in Playmaker and if double click doesn't bring them up when you try this on your own again you don't have to follow along right now I'm just showing you some stuff but we have preferences here in behavior designer and this will control what happens when you click and double click see I have open inspector on task double click so that's how that happens so when you're going through this if you don't have the same behavior you can go ahead and check out these preferences and you click it again to make them go away so a couple other little basic things I want to show you that have similarities with Playmaker you may remember breakpoints from Playmaker you can use to debug stuff to stop on a state well you can do the same thing here and stop on a task you right click and go set breakpoint same functionality as Playmaker you can right click to remove it one last little similarity I want to show you is that both Playmaker and Behavior Designer have event systems so you can send events and receive events you can send events with data with variables and receive events with variables too so if we go here into our tasks and we can search just like Playmaker and I look for event and we have our send event task so we can send events here just like we do in Playmaker and if you noticed here what I just clicked on was the regular send event so that is the behavior designer send event to send events to other trees but we also have this look at this this Playmaker send event so what does this do 
So this one can actually send events to Playmaker FSMs. Pretty cool, right? So we can send events to Playmaker from Behavior Designer. So hopefully that should stimulate your imagination. And if we go look at our Playmaker actions, since we have Behavior Designer, we have actions to send events to Behavior Designer. Check this out. So I'm just going to make a quick state. So let's try the send event. So I can send events to Behavior Designer too. So it goes both ways. And when you install your um, Behavior Designer, you may wonder where these Playmaker actions are, both in Playmaker and the ones um, over here in Behavior Designer. I'll show you how to get those in our next video because we're going to start building trees. So get ready for that because here we go.